This is Fox 19 Now at 10. A Cincinnati man is facing drug charges tonight after being arrested during a traffic stop. Good evening to you. I'm Jessica Schmidt. A canine deputy assigned to the burn unit stopped a vehicle traveling south on Interstate 75 this afternoon. And during that stop, Butler County deputies say they found marijuana, a large amount of a wax substance and cash inside the car. They arrested 31 year old Antonio Stanley before releasing this picture you're looking at now, showing some of the items they say they took from his vehicle. Stanley has been charged with drug trafficking and possession of drugs. Also tonight, Cheviot police are asking for your help to try to identify two men they say are wanted in connection with the shooting. Police tell us the men in these photos were involved in a fight early Saturday morning inside game time, which is on Harrison Avenue. We're told the fight continued out onto the street and then the man wearing the hat ran across Del Mar Avenue and fired some shots into the air before he and the second person seen in these pictures took off. If you have any information tonight, you're asked to contact police. Two men died in two different shootings across Hamilton County early this morning, and tonight investigators are saying they are connected. Andrea Medina joins us live outside the Hamilton County Justice Center with the latest details on these cases. Andrea, thank you. A fire is under investigation tonight in College Hill. The Cincinnati Fire Department tells us they were called to a home on Glenview Avenue just before one this afternoon. When they got there, firefighters say there were some heavy flames, but crews were able to get it under control pretty quickly. No one was inside the house at the time of that fire, but a family of four has been displaced. The American Red Cross, we're told, is helping that family now. Firefighters say there is about $140,000 worth of damage to that home. Cincinnati police have now identified the man killed in a shooting in Walnut Hills. Police tell us the victim of Friday night shooting is 21-year-old Marquel Wilcox. Police say Wilcox was shot outside of a gas station on the corner of Gilbert Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive. Today, gas prices surged to the highest level since 2008, with the national average for a gallon topping $4. Gas prices are expected to continue to rise across the tri-state and the country as the Russia and Ukraine conflict continues. Ken Brown checked in with Gas Buddy to see how much of this climb can be credited to that unrest in Europe. Driven by a gas station lately and seen those prices, some of the highest since Katrina hit back in 2005. And right now, you're feeling it right here in the wallet. All right, we had some warmer temperatures today, and it looks like, Ethan, those temperatures are going to keep climbing throughout the week. Feels like spring is here. Well, the details on that coming up in just a, a few minutes. Thanks, Ethan. Right now, investigators in Warren County are working to find out what caused a home to burn to the ground. Franklin Township firefighters worked that fire for several hours, and tonight they tell us the house is a total loss. This is all that's left of a house along Chamberlain Road in Franklin Township. Well, it has been four decades since a Claremont County man disappeared, and police say they're still looking for answers in this cold case. Miami Township Police tell us this man on your screen, Roy Clarence Banks, was last seen leaving his home on Ring Lane in Miami Township back on March 12th, 1982. A two-year-old boy is safe at home in northern Kentucky tonight, more than 24 hours after both he and his father were reported missing. The child is now reunited with his mother and grandmother. Andrea Medina has been following this developing story throughout the day today, an emotional story. She joins us now live with the latest. Hi, Jessica. It was only about five hours ago that Fort Wright police reunited Kieran Jennings with his mom and grandmother. We're live in Fort Wright. Andrea Medina, Fox 19 Now. Andrea, thank you. A big trade for the Reds that includes a big name player. So who is out for the Cincinnati Reds and who's in for the NCAA tournament? Sports director Joe D, of course, following both stories tonight. Joe? At Great American Ballpark, I'm Joe Daneman, Fox 19 Now. Breaking now, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is in town to present a $175,000 check to the city of Newport to work on the Purple People Bridge. Let's listen in now and hear what he's saying. This grant comes.